productivity and structure negative prefixes in english productivity can tell us something about language structure we can know that how a language will uh, have more words right for example the more productive a morphological derivational process is the more likely it is to have a compositional one whose meaning is transparently predictable from the meaning of its output so we can see that if there is any segment of the la or in a language and that is productive right so we can see that it can join other words and make more and more uh, words right and its meaning is understandable we can look at its meaning the converse is also to the less productive a derivational process the more likely it is to result in a non compositional semantically idiosyncratic non transparent out so if the something is if some derivational process is non productive so it will make fewer words it will be fixed with fewer words right and it will make non compositional semantically idiosyncratic non transparent out, uh, output so it will not be fixed with uh, other words and or it will be only fixed with pure words we can uh, understand it with the help of uh, some example let's take the negative prefixes in english for example uh, we take example from zimmer who we'll look at three uh, affixes non un and in these are three affixes they are normally used to make a word in negation and discover that most productive of the set non also has more semantically transparent derivatives so none is most productive it can be used with any word and the meaning becomes very clear it's very uh, very understandable predictable however compared to other in which meaning has to be uh, learnt in some cases this is shown by the contrast between the two for example let's look at the word non christian and un christian right non christian clearly tells us that not christian whereas un christian it may be it is not likely the etiquettes or the manner of the christians to so, non human inhuman similarly non human obviously not human inhuman the person is human but he does not behave in a certain way right the difference what is the different non christian mean not christians un christian can mean the same and not behaving in a christian manner or even uncivilized and barbaric right so you can see that non christian is very clear in its meaning and it's predictable likewise non human simply mean not human while inhuman refers to absence of human quality like pity and kindness a person can be both human and in human but not human and non human non human makes a clear distinction between human and not human the non words in general simply negate their basis and in and un words have the meaning completely opposite to x where x is the meaning of their basis in the way that east and west are long and short are opposed right so they are different uh, in their meanings in and un are different in their meanings than uh, non which is very much transparent and clear to put it in a more technical way non is a logical and contrary negator using logical notation we could represent non christian as in where this symbol negation symbol mean not so negation symbol and christian mean not christian un and in are contradictory negators whose addition to a word x results in a new word meaning opposite of human i mean inhuman 
the behavior is inhuman mean that it is not uh, uh, likely to be seen by the human beings. Zimmer's observation extent to other derivational affixes, especially the ness, is more productive in English than it. Right? They both are uh, used to make uh, abstract nouns. So consider the pair collectivity and collectiveness. Right? Both have the same meaning, but collectivity have a certain uh, meaning too. Both may mean the quality of or condition of being collective. Only collectivity has the additional meaning, the people considered as a body, a group of people. Overall, when we compare many such pairs, the nest derivations has more transparent uh, semantics. When we say transparent semantics, we mean that the word refers to its meaning. Collectivity, the collection of people, the collection of something, but it also refers to a group. So the, the meaning has to be learned. But collectiveness has no problem. You can easily predict its meaning. Sometimes the it derivation, uh, de derivative sounds are, looks odd, while the ness derivatives is pretty much always acceptable. Compare conduciveness with conducivity. So we do not use conducivity. Conduciveness is very commonly used. Most English speaker would say that the former is more acceptable than the latter, that is conduciveness. We can go beyond morphology to make the observation that syntax, which is always productive, is by definition compositional, right? With the help of different composition, we form uh, this structure of the syntax. So we can see that uh, there are certain uh, effects, especially the uh, negative affixes which, which are productive, uh, which are more productive than the other negative affixes because they are, they, whenever we attach them to a word, their meaning is transparent and predictable.